Today on Sledhead 24-7, we catch up with Polaris factory pro racer Ross Martin as he preps for the upcoming ISOC snowcross season. The crew over at FXR Racing showcases what's on tap for the 2014 apparel season. Fox is the leader in shock technology. Find out why the best choose to ride Fox. And ride along as we evaluate a middleweight performance snowmobile. So grab a handful of throttle and hang on, because Sledhead 24-7 starts now. We've got the biggest, baddest snowmobiles money can buy from the OEMs, and we have talent fish. This is Carl Kuster from CKMP, and you're watching Sledhead 24-7. Welcome to another episode of Sledhead 24-7. I'm your host, Carly Applin, along with my co-host, tech expert Jeff Fisher and former racer Paul Mack. We're at Heinen's Motorsports in beautiful Minneapolis, Minnesota. And guys, I feel like I don't even have to ask you this, but are you excited for snowmobile season? Excited, that goes without saying, because here at the show, we get to go ride in some great locations, ride with a lot of key people in the industry, test aftermarket products, and we get to ride some amazing manufacturer snowmobiles. That's right, Fish. You know, and gearing up for the season is at the top of our list, and I'm sure it's at the top of everybody else's list, too. It's definitely at the top of every girl's list, and with this new FXR Racing Camel Gear, Mac, pretty sure I'm gonna lose you in the trees. Now, let's take a look at what's new for FXR this season. Hey, it's Milt at FXR, and uh, we're super excited about the new uh, 2014 snow year in front of us. Oh, I'm so pumped to be with FXR, you know. We started off like literally, we no more than got the deal signed and I had an event in New York City to jump for Fox Shocks. In a week's time, they had gear printed out, pumped out for me and I'm like, oh my gosh, this is gonna be awesome. The cool part of it is they have like the nicest looking stuff out there. So I, it's just, I get, I get tingly just talking about it. <laughs> Yeah, FXR is just killing it. They're, they're super motivated right now to be on the very top of the line gear, and they've got some really cool stuff coming out this year with new helmets, new coats, new jackets, new everything. We're really excited about the new Realtree camo license that we've just acquired, and a whole line of product for ATV and snowmobile that we've built around that, and some actual hunting gear as well. The new Realtree camo product, we've got it in all kinds of platforms. We've got it in insulated versions as well, and then and also in heavier pieces like this that have a flotation lining in them should you actually go through the water in a, a difficult situation or through the ice, it gives you buoyancy. So numerous color combinations. So we've got it in women's apparel as well. Put a little lipstick on it with the color accents. A lot of options in camo that have never been available before. Welcome to the new FXR lineup. X1 helmet, fully carbon fiber, hand laid shell, most breathable visor in the industry. Good, good breathability on the front, good breathability on the side, and the venting from the front through to the back. Another popular helmet in our lineup is the Blade Mountain Air helmet. Same super high flow for roost and snow protection. Most comfortable helmet in the industry. New to FXR this year, fuel modular helmet. Highest opening helmet in the industry. Electric and dual shield available. Built-in breath box, fully adjustable. This is FXR Mountain, it's, it's all new for this year. We uh, went with totally different styling, something that's a little asymmetrical. We've got some cool prints. A little bit more of your outdoor style versus more of your uh, typical FXR styling. Starting with our tactic jackets, all new. It's got four-way stretch. So it's really gonna move and flow with the rider when you're moving around on the sled. We still have our dual layer ACMP system, two layers of dry, that inner layer is the breathable layer, which is what gets the moisture and the vapor away from your body, keeps you dry, keeps your arms and the rest of your body from getting clammy and cold. For the person that's a little more just an outdoor enthusiast, maybe snowboard or something like that, FXR recoil jacket with the two layer ACMT dry. This is a fixed insulation piece, so it's gonna have a little more warmth. Maybe not for your hardcore mountain rider, but your outdoor enthusiast, love a piece like this. 
We continue to grow the glove collection. One of our new pieces this year is the men's and women's convoy mitt. It's kind of your ultimate mitt. It has a waterproof zipper on the outside, just allowing you to put a heating pad in, I mean essentials, maps, whatever you might need. This is our new elevation light boot uh, with a fixed lining system, full waterproof breathable uh, interior. Um, it's got the new recoiler BOA H3 reel, so it's really advantageous for quick adjustments. Still ahead, we catch up with pro snowcross racer Ross Martin as he preps for the National Ice Sox Circuit. What's a middleweight performance snowmobile? We'll have a preview. And why does Levi LaValle choose to ride Fox? Stay tuned. Sledhead 24-7 is brought to you by Amsoil, the first in synthetics. Polaris, terrain domination. Ram, guts, glory, ram. Fox, redefining ride dynamics. And by Stud Boy, traction with an attitude. Welcome back to Sledhead 24-7. I'm your host, Carly Applin, and joining me is former racer Paul the Mac Man. Mac, you obviously used to race. Let's talk about racing now compared to when you were on the track. You know, it's really changed a lot in the last 10 years. What it is, a big change is technology of the snowmobiles. They have much better suspension. They have better engines. It's easier to maneuver the snowmobile in the air. You can go over much bigger bumps, which is why now in snowcross we're seeing huge doubles, triples even, that we didn't see 10 years ago. Snowcross has really evolved because of the technology changes in the machines today. That's right. Now it's time to catch up with one racer on the Amsoil Championship Snowcross Series powered by Ram. That is number 837, Ross Martin, one of the fastest racers on the ISOC Series. In the last 10 years, we've had 14 opportunities for uh, national championships and Ross has been first or second 11 out of the 14 times. Ross is one of the most competitive people I've ever met. He's driven like very few racers are driven. I mean, he has a desire to win. Definitely racing in the pro class, you don't really get an easy race per se. Everyone's always up there to win. We know Tucker and, and his crew have been working hard all summer. We've been working hard all summer. Goals for this season are just to go out there and try and win that championship, get some more wins, and uh, see what we can do. You know, even I was listening to Tucker do an interview here recently, and he said, you know, probably most consistently, Ross has been his, his toughest competition. Anything goes, pretty much. Normally, uh, an average day consists of me getting up, eating a healthy breakfast, um, going to work out for a few hours and uh, come home, I eat some lunch and ride for the afternoon and then when it gets dark I go back to the gym and work out for a little longer and that's about an average day. It takes a, a lot of time and effort, money, work. Ross has got to have practice sleds and he's got to have race sleds. For him to go as fast as he goes and to feel comfortable doing it we got to give them the best equipment we possibly can. Testing in the spring after the season was over, we really found some improvements in the sled that Ross really liked. So he's more focused than ever, he's in better shape than ever. I expect Ross to have his best year ever. Uh, we'll be heading up to Planet X here and uh, spend nine days up there testing before we head to Duluth and uh, we're anxious to get on the snow. Racing the sleds we race is just unbelievable. It's got feels like endless power. Like any year, we expect to be there at the end. You know, we, we want that number one spot. We never have to worry about the thing breaking. They're so durable nowadays. And uh, we just have full-time mechanics that go through the things. Ross is very intense. You know, he is 110% focused. It's never a doubt in your mind when the flag drops, the sled's gonna make it to the finish line. You know, that's what we're here for. I mean, we're here to, to win races for players and the rest of our sponsors, and um, I think it, it adds a little bit extra fire in everybody. Second place is a huge disappointment to Ross. I mean, anything other than first place, his head's hanging pretty low. 
finishing second last year just kind of drove me harder all summer long to keep on working and push myself even farther than I did last year to see if we can get out there and get the win. He knows that there's a lot on the line. You know, we want to win that championship. Anything can happen. The competition is really tough, but definitely he has worked every bit as hard as the crew, myself, our sponsors have stepped up to help, especially Polaris. And we want to win, we want to win bad. A couple other teams that have pulled out all the stops also that, that want to do the same thing. And Well, Ross had a great year last year. I mean, he finished second points. He won four races. He won the Amsoil Dominator. He won both days at Eagle River. Unfortunately, Tucker had a phenomenal year, and, and Ross got a little bit lost in the shuffle. It's going to be tight. I don't think there's a shoe in for anybody. Man, it's a long season. Anything can happen out there. Predictions for the season are definitely just uh, get as many podiums and wins as you can and that'll lead into a championship. We are very, very prepared for this season. Up next, the crew test rides a middleweight performance snowmobile that stands out from the rest. And redefine your ride dynamics with Fox Athletes. Stay tuned. Time now for a tech tip, brought to you by Amsoil, the first in synthetics. Len Groom, Technical Product Manager for Power Sports at Amsoil, coming to you from the Snowcross event. Today, we're talking about grease. When we look at the skids in these sleds, you need to make sure that all of the moving pieces, there's a lot of pounding, there's a lot of hammering that's taking place, and you need to make sure that you've got grease in all of the places where it needs to be. Put it in the skid or the ski, it needs to stay in there. When they're coming down off these jumps, taking these big hits, the grease can get pounded out. What can happen is you got metal on metal contact going on inside that skid, parts are going to wear out, and that's gonna cost you down the road. We do that well here at Amsoil, it resists pound out. The other thing you need to look at is washout. If you look at them when they're in motion, there's a ton of snow flying in there. You need to make sure that the grease isn't going to wash out. So that's where we spend a lot of time at Amsoil, doing the research, doing the field testing like we do with the snowcross teams, to be sure that the grease is gonna perform in all areas. Not only is it gonna be slippery, but it's gonna stay in place when you need it. So if you're looking to maintain your sled, you want to hit it with some grease before the season, maybe during the season once, and especially when you put it in storage. For more information, you can take a look at amsoil.com. Sledhead 24-7 is brought to you by KNN, the world's best air filter. FXR, world-class outerwear. Arctic FX graphics, make it yours. GoPro. Be a hero. Michelob Golden Light. You're golden. And by Skidoo Snowmobiles. If you like snowmobiling, I'm sure you'll like this next piece. Take a look. Our middleweight performance class is a combination of everything. Remember, we analyze things as just going on groom trail only, rough trail only, touring. It's always been big sleds and little sleds. We need a good performance middleweight class. Many different classes. What we're looking for is an overall. So we're, we're not going groom trail. Right now, we're going to go in the middleweight class. We're going to do everything. We're going to lake race. We're going to do some ditch banging. We're going to go on groom trail. We're going to go on rough trail. So we want something that really, in that middleweight category, is the best at doing all of those things. Middleweight performance. Maybe not everybody needs an 800, but still wants to get out and ride hard. You know, in the industry, we've kind of lost that 600 for technology. So I shouldn't say that completely, a lot of the manufacturers have, but it always kind of got uh, pushed to the side. Everybody wanted 800s or bigger. You're just seeing so much new technology in that middleweight performance class. They're bringing it back. All the manufacturers are bringing great technology to it. It's a class we wanted to test. Yamaha SR Viper. I like new technology and I like thinking outside the box. I absolutely love this. The engine is great, tried and true proven Yamaha technology. Yamaha clutches, I mean it's Yamaha fuel system. You know, everything in there, if you're into Yamaha engines, which I am, it's bulletproof. It's a four-stroke motor, had great pull, great torque, 
Their new chassis handles well, it lays flat, it doesn't push in the corners. The Yamaha SR Viper. That sled cornered like it was on rails, had plenty of power where I needed it. The mid-range was super strong, blasting out of the corners from corner to corner, pulled hard. It was actually able to leave some of the larger displacement sleds in their tracks because that thing was working. I really, really like that SR Viper. Just all around, I felt the Yamaha SR Viper was the perfect match in the performance middleweight class. The SR Viper was fun going down the trail with all its power. It uh, seemed to hook up in the corners quite well, but overall it was fun to ride. The performance, innovation, and technology is hands down Yamaha SR Viper. Still ahead, if you're a snowmobiler, you've probably heard of Fox. We'll find out why the best choose to ride Fox. Stay tuned. Sledhead 24-7 is brought to you by Amsoil, the first in synthetics. Arctic Cat, share our passion. C&A Pro Skis, ride like a pro. Bully Dog, more power, more pull, more bully. Spy, see better, feel better. And by Speedworks, straight up USA horsepower. Sledhead 24-7 is brought to you by Amsoil, the first in synthetics. Arctic Cat, share our passion. Ram, guts, glory, Ram. Speedworks, straight up USA horsepower. GoPro, be a hero. KNN, the world's best air filter. And by Stud Boy. Traction with an attitude. Welcome back to Sledhead 24-7. I'm Carly Applin, joined by Colin Heinen of Heinen's Motorsports in Minneapolis, Minnesota. Colin, tell us what people can expect when they walk through the door. Why Heinen's? What you can expect is a great family-owned business. It's been around for 114 years. We have everything available from dirt bikes to four-wheelers to snowmobiles and uh, on-road motorcycles, along with boats. Anything you would like to personalize and accessorize those things to make them as cool as you would like, and any apparel you'd like to wear while you're riding these machines. A lot of really fun toys. Now, Colin, we're going to see you on the iSock circuit this year, right? Correct. <laughs> and hopefully up on the podium. Colin, thank you hopefully. so much. <laughs> thank you. And now, Fox has been leading the industry in shock technology for years. Everything from ATVs, UTVs, off-road, and even mountain bike. Let's see why the best in the industry choose to ride Fox. Hey guys, Kerry Dacke here from Fox Shocks. Here we are at our Float 3 launch. This is our new Float 3 Evol RC2 shock. The features of this is all new Kashima coating. So every aftermarket shock now that comes from Fox has Kashima coating. What that really means is buttery smooth feel, plushness, control high and low speed, compression adjust, rebound adjust, and dual air spring control. I mean, Fox has been out building shocks longer than any company out there for snowmobiles. I think more than anything, it's the durability, it's the lightweight of the shock, and the adjustability is what really makes Fox shocks for me the, the shock to have. So with the air adjust, what you can control is your bottom out on your evolve chamber. If you're out on the trail and your sled bottom's out, simple. Take your pump out that's supplied with the shocks and just pump up the evolve pressure a little bit. Controls that bottom out of the sled. Same thing for that main chamber. You go into the corners, it's a little bit harsh, getting a little bit of roll. Just go up on that main chamber pressure. Simple, simple adjustments, infinitely adjustable. Fits a wider range of athlete or rider. Can adjust for any terrain, mountain, snow cross, anything you can throw at it. Fox has, has brought me through a lot of different things. Double backflip, snow cross championship, distance jump. You know, I've been, I push my shocks to the limit and they always come back saying, give me more, give me more. So Fox has been amazing and they've saved me a lot of times from hard landings. You know, it's a great ride and especially for the guys that ride big horsepower like myself. It's, you, you gotta have the transferability. We like to jump, we like the side hill. These guys really put a lot of heart and soul into what they do and it really shows through our riding and it's pretty cool. Fox makes us look even better. 
I love them. You know, they're lightweight. Uh, that's that's the key. You know, with mountain riding, and uh, and the performance is there. You know, with the with the valving and with the air shock, uh, the adjustability is great. Because one day we might have hard snow, and then the next day we might have three feet of powder, and uh, I don't have to change spring rates. I can just uh, change my air pressure. And having that infinite adjustability that Fox floats offer to me. That's what makes it different for me versus anybody else that just buys a sled, jumps on it, and goes and rides it. I've got a sled that is built around my style, my weight, and allows me to be that much more lethal in the backcountry. It's good to work with our sponsors to let them know what, what can be fixed and what can't be fixed and what works well and what doesn't, and it's important to have that feedback. The feedback's been unbelievably positive, and you truly will feel it on the trail. All of our athletes, our riders, when they do ride with it, notice a sub substantial difference, you know. So we're excited about the Float 3, the whole lineup, and uh, hopefully we have a great year. Fox really does have a lot of great athletes, and their shocks really do make the ride that much better. No, that's true, and I suggest if you don't have a set of Fox, you go out and get yourself a set of Fox because the technology they put into their shocks is just amazing. And I can attest how easy they are to set up for different riders and conditions. Also, if you're riding Fox, look to upgrade to Kashima Coating. It's the properties that provide an exceptionally smooth feel and extreme durability. Head over to ridefox.com and those guys will be happy to help you out. Okay, boys, so we're almost out of time. I'm your host, Carly Applin, along with my co-hosts, Jeff Fisher and Paul Mack. We want to say a special thank you to Heinen's Motorsports in Minneapolis, Minnesota for having us out. Make sure to check us out online at Sledhead24-7 and check out our latest videos and, of course, like us on Facebook. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Next week on Sledhead 24-7. We go to Spirit Mountain in Duluth, Minnesota and preview the Amsoil Duluth National Snowcross event. Join us in a special edition episode as we take you behind the scenes as the fastest racers hit the hills of Duluth for some intense racing action. One lucky racer will walk away from Duluth $10,000 richer. All that and more next week on Sledhead 24-7. Make sure to subscribe to us on our YouTube channel for the latest episodes, like us on Facebook, follow us on Instagram and Twitter, and of course check out sledhead24-7.com for up-to-date info and who knows, you may just end up riding with us this season.